guys, so I decided to make another vlog today. It's about like 8.45 at night. It's Friday night and I just took a shower. That's why my hair looks kind of wet and not, you know, perfect. Anyway, so I decided to make another vlog because I am in college and I just survived my first week of college and I just figured I would vlog about it and tell y'all about my experience this week. So let's get this thing started. <laughs> So basically, we alternate our classes each day. So like I have two classes on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have three classes. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday classes, I have College Writing 101. And that's from like 10, that starts at 10 and it ends at 10.50. And then right after that, I have Acting 1. And that is quite an interesting class. It's not really like a lecture class. It's considered like a lab class or whatever so you don't really like sit there the entire time and take notes on like acting techniques and stuff you like go into it and somebody is calling me so I will come back to this in a minute okay guys I'm back um I answered my call and I talked to my people so now I have to think about what I was talking about basically what we did this week in acting one so my professor just basically went over the class and the syllabus and everything that was going on and how everything was going to work Wednesday we started um, doing like warm-up exercises in my opinion they're more like yoga exercises because we had to like find a partner and sit back to back with the partner and then he was he like said in a really calm voice like okay now just let your back melt into your partner's back blah 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 all that stuff and I was like I feel like we're in a yoga class or something but apparently this is how actors do stuff and relax and stuff so yeah my college writing class um, is actually pretty fun I guess you could say or I don't know I pictured a college writing class being like super hard and the professor being like okay you're gonna turn in a 15 page paper within like two weeks or something like I was prepared to have to write a 15 page paper within like the first couple of weeks of college right but I looked at the syllabus and we only have like three papers that we have to do and the first paper only has to be four pages long okay four pages I have done this my entire life I think I can do this I can totally do this. But the second paper has to be six pages, and then the third paper has to be eight pages. So we're slowly building up to a lot of pages. But that's not really a lot of pages to me, because I'm sort of kind of used to writing a lot of stuff. We don't have a final, and I'm really happy. She didn't say anything about a midterm, but I know we don't have a final. I am so happy about that. <laughs> Okay, so my class is for Tuesday and Thursdays. I have three classes. My first class is costuming and makeup. I'm really excited about that. My second class is voice for the actor. And my third class is earth science. And I only, I took earth science because one, I like earth science. Two, I knew it would be easy because I basically know all of the stuff about earth science. And I have a fascination with learning about like the planets. Well, I know that's not earth science, but the planets and learning about the solar system is in this course. So yeah. And I have a fascination with meteorology. Okay. I really like the weather. Like if you have a question about the weather, I can most likely answer the question. Like if you don't know what a high pressure system is or what a low pressure system is or what a cold front is or warm front or like what a barometer is, I'm your girl, okay? I know my stuff when it comes to meteorology because when I was like seven, I wanted to be a meteorologist, okay? And that would actually be a pretty good career path to go on, but I am majoring in theater because I like the theater now. I still do like meteorology, but that's a lot, that's a lot of college years and a lot of math. Although I like math, but it's a lot of math and a lot of science, and I'm just like, I'll just stick with the theater. <laughs> so basically, I took Earth... Earth? Basically, I just took Earth Science because it's in my, like, realm of knowledge that I know. So I figured... And plus, I have to do some type of science, and I was like, 
I'll just do earth science because it'll most likely be an easy A. Let me tell you about my professor, okay? My professor is probably like 65 years old. And when I walked in, I looked at him and I was like, okay, this is an old dude. Um, I hope he's not going to be like one of these like really old fashioned professors or anything. So I sat down and he gets up and he introduces himself. He goes over the syllabus really quickly and then he starts lecturing. And within like 30 minutes into the class, this is an hour and 15 minute class, within 30 minutes, he just stops lecturing. I can't talk tonight. He just stops lecturing and he says, okay, um, I'm gonna stop teaching today because you guys look brain dead and um, I'm tired of talking, so have a good day. I was like, what? You are freaking amazing. And he did that the other day too, so I'm just like, yes, early release from class. Okay, um, so my costuming and makeup class, we haven't really done much with costuming and makeup yet because we're still just kind of getting going with everything. My professor went over the syllabus and everything the first day, and then the second day we toured the green room, and we toured beneath the stage where the costume shop is and where the scene shop is and all that stuff. So we basically just toured that. But Tuesday we are supposed to be matched for our makeup so that we can get our makeup kits and start working on makeup because that's another thing that I love to do, even though like half the time I don't wear makeup like in person or on video but I really like to mess around with makeup I like to make myself look old I like to contour the heck out of my face and I also like to make myself look like other people like I have this really good picture of myself where I made myself look like Reba McIntyre and I tricked a couple people because they thought that it was Reba no it was me voice for the actor okay this class is similar to my acting one class right now because we're also doing these things that remind me of yoga so the other day we laid on the floor and we had to imagine our backs sinking into the floor and then releasing our face and imagining our faces melting into the floor but yeah, um, I'm excited for voice for the actor because we're supposed to like do things with our voice and I like to change my voice a lot. So hopefully I'll learn how to do other weird voices like this. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know. I'm going to find me pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, lassie. So yeah, guys, um, I think that's about it for this week or in this vlog. Um, so basically, college isn't really that bad yet. I am waiting on the stressfulness. I'm pretty sure costuming and makeup is going to be the death of me. Because with costuming and makeup, you have to be on the wardrobe crew and, um, help the actors get into their costumes when they do costume changes. And you have to, I have my hair tie in my pinky. And you have to help them put their wigs on. Wigs? Put the, you have to help them put their wigs on. You have to help them put their wigs on and stuff, and you have to be there every single day. Okay, guys, I have to add this in here because um, I started editing the video, and then I remembered this one thing that happened, um, and this is like my first week of college video. So let me tell you this other thing that happened, and I'm going to make it really short because this video is already like 10 minutes. So the other night, no, the other morning, I woke up. And I put my glasses on because I can't see without my glasses. Like right now, I can't see anything. Everything is a blur. But if I wear my glasses, then you can see the light reflecting in my glasses. So I'm not wearing glasses right now. Anyway, I put my glasses on. I got out of the bed. And I looked in the corner. Let's see if I can do this without my glasses. I looked in the corner in that little area right there, right? And there was this big, massive brown spider. Okay, I don't know what kind of spider it was. It was just the color brown. And I don't like spiders. I have a phobia. I hate spiders. I am afraid that spiders are going to crawl on me in my sleep. And I'm not going to know about it because it happened to me. I was trying to sleep and I wasn't asleep. And a spider crawled on me one time, okay? So there was that spider in that corner. And I spazzed out, okay? But I got a shoe, right? And I stood on my bucket that I have and got up there. And I went with it, right? But then I kind of spazzed out and I threw my shoe at the wall. And um, I don't know where the spider went, or I didn't know where the spider went at the time. 
Um, so I was like, okay, maybe this thing is dead. Hopefully this thing is dead, okay? Um, or it's alive, but I was hoping it was dead. So that same night, I was right here on my computer um, FaceTiming my mother, and I just so happened to turn my head, and there was that same spider, okay? Yeah, that spider. So I had my lamp on. So I kind of started freaking out, and my mother was laughing at me, but I hate spiders. So I slowly got up, and I walked I walked over near where that trash can was just to look at it, and the spider saw me. And guess where it went? There's a crack in the door frame, okay? And that spider went into the door frame, and I was like, ah, I screamed. So, yeah. And then I texted my roommate, and I was like, when are you getting here? You need to kill this spider. Get your butt here. And, um, yeah, so a couple hours later, my roommate came in, and we didn't have any bug spray. So I had her spray some Febreze in that little crack there, and then we put some tape on the crack to keep the spider in the crack, but I don't think it worked because the tape didn't want to stick, even after we, like, had wiped it, wiped the Febreze off of it, so... I'm just hoping that the spider died from the Febreze and it's no longer living. Now, I'm really gonna shut up now. Um, so I believe that's it. Um, thanks for watching the videos, guys. The videos? No, it's only one video. <sighs> thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, if you wanna see more vlogs, um, just hit that subscribe button down below and, um, yeah, and if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your major is in college because, yeah, I'm a theater major, so yeah. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.